proud, happy parents, like, so excited for their daughter, their youngest, their baby, Aqua, to be aging up into a young adult and graduating from high school. And then you have Coral, who could literally not give two shizzes less about her sister. Hey guys, Whitney here, and welcome to part 39 of The Sims 3 Island Paradise Let's Play. This is going to be the second to last part, I guess, of the LP. The next part will be the finale, which will probably be up on Friday. Um, so yeah, can we just talk about how crazy it is that it's ending? And for those of you who that are that are, might be sad about this, please don't be because, you know, I mean... I'll always keep this Let's Play on my channel for you to, like, go back and rewatch it if you want to or, you know, I don't know. Just just don't think of it as a sad thing because when one thing ends, something else begins. So I will be starting a new Sims 3 Let's Play when this one is over and that will probably start, like, next weekend. So... Yeah, don't be sad, guys. Um, we had a good run, right? And it was fun while it lasted. And we'll always keep the Porter family in our hearts. Okay, so <laughs> getting into the game. Um, also, that <laughs> the sunrise is gorgeous. Um, anyway, so today I was thinking about... Oh my gosh, I think Aqua's going to graduate, actually. I'm like 99% sure Aqua is going to graduate. <gasps> oh my god, how is that even possible? Look at her grades. <laughs> She's going to graduate. Um, And she ages up in one day. The babies age up today. So I thought we could have like one big birthday party for all of them um, to like age them up. So, so yeah, I think it's going to be fun. Um. I'll go ahead and have her throw the party so she can, like, invite over Christabel because we haven't seen Christabel in forever. It's Bay's birthday. It's Finn's birthday. Yay. Um, let's go ahead and... I'm, 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 like, missing. There we go. Throw party. Oh. Goals. Actual goals. Making out in front of your newborn children. Yes, goals. Well, technically, I guess they're having a birthday party, so they're going to be toddlers, but still... All right, collect the resort profits. Also, I know we haven't been to the resort in quite some time. So I think in the finale, I'm going to spend a lot of time there. Um, just like have them chill out and relax, maybe go water skiing and just have a fun day um, for the finale. Nothing too crazy because everybody's, you know, Coral and Colin are going to move back to their house with their twins. And, you know, I think it's going to end and well and aqua's gonna age up and probably move the heck out and i don't know what's gonna happen but yeah so let's go ahead and throw a birthday party at oh my gosh it's not even eight o'clock in the morning it's very early today um let's go ahead and throw it for like noon um casual attire and let's see christabel of course um who else Linda, half these people I don't really remember, but yeah. Oh my god, a genie. Is this, is this the genie we set, did we set him free? I don't think we did, but we'll invite the genie. Oh, why the heck not, you know? Why not? <laughs> um, who else? Florita and, um... I guess. Oh, Rajan. There he is. I was like, where is Rajan? But he's right there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll see who comes. Oh, and she's hitting on Sean. Shocking. All right. So she decided to be a social butterfly. And Audrina needs to get to the top of her career. She's one freaking level away, guys. Like, seriously. And she does not work today. So I'm going to have her wake up. What the? What the? What are you doing? Accusing him of being a diva, girl. Do you want your marriage to fail? He's being so freaking sweet, and you're, oh my God, she is high maintenance. There's just no, there's no way around it, guys. She is high maintenance. Um, look at like our boat collection here. Like, can we even think about where we started out? We had like nothing. 
if it wasn't for that genie. <laughs> All right. Um, you go practice your speech because I think charisma, right? Yeah, charisma. She already has quite the athletic skills. So look at this job experience glowing away. She just improved her Christmas to level five. Cool, cool. Oh, pay her bills. Whoopsie. So hopefully that helps her get her job performance up. Um, she's going to be working on that today amongst like the birthday parties. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Oh. Okay, but he actually needs to like be fed. So, oh, good job. Oh, she's such a good mom. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes she's a little problematic, but um, for the most part, I think she's doing, she's doing pretty good. Colin, do you work today? Six hours. All right, how about you go grab something to eat then? Go ahead and have a salad at nine o'clock in the morning. Why not, guys? She always takes her babies downstairs to watch TV, and I seriously think it's like the cutest thing ever. Like, it's just so cute. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna miss Coral. She was, she's great. <laughs> a little bit of a diva, but it just makes it interesting, right? Oh my gosh, dude, you need to get up. She's actually doing her homework. Like all of a sudden, she's had a little bit of a turnaround, and has decided to start like focusing on school right as school is ending, which probably isn't a bad idea, Aqua. Considering she wants to graduate and get the heck out of this town, like, get the heck out of here. She's probably gonna, like, move to Barnacle Bay or something. <laughs> like, move to a totally different town because she is not having her, this family, like, she's not having it. I also want to, in the next part, probably maybe travel around with the houseboat or maybe in this part. I don't know. Like, there's still some things I want to do, you know? Where are you going? Oh, he's gonna go chat with her. Please be nice. <laughs> I feel like sometimes Sean is like really, really hard on Aqua, and I don't know that she always deserves it. You know, she just did her homework. Like she's trying. You know, kind of, sort of. <laughs> she's so cute. Oh, they're talking about the kids. Oh. How is she already hungry? Oh, she never got fed. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Guys, uh, stop doing that. And what? And uh, give her a bottle. Oh my gosh, everything breaks all the time. The TV. Really? We'll just turn it off. All right, let's go ahead and get some um, birthday stuff. <laughs> Um, let me see. There we go. We have boardwalk balloons. They're pretty cool looking, actually. I think I'm going to get those. Yeah. Why not? Like, let people know this place is the, this is, you know, where the party is being held and it's just going to be a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and get these handcrafted birthday cakes. I think they came with the bakery set and they're just really cool looking. So I'm going to get uh, a couple of them. We're actually going to celebrate Aqua's birthday, guys. I know, like, <laughs> that never happens. So, yeah. <laughs> Her birthday is usually just, like, forgotten. So we're actually going to make it work. We're actually going to be nice to her. Okay, why don't you... Like, usually people arrive by now. Oh, here we go. Linda... Christabel, girl, we have not seen you for like ages. Look at her. She's looking, she's looking good. Dang. Yeah, girl, it's been ages. Like, oh my gosh, go talk to her. Flirtatious. Go ahead and greet her. What did you bring? No, what the heck is that? Rye bread. Thank you. Here's a genie. He just pulled something out of the floor. Some deep fried frittles. Fritter. Where, where are you going? I want you to talk to her. Go greet her. She's like, hey girl. Let's go ahead and gossip with her. You know, we gotta catch up with her. So. 
Um, enthused about new house, I guess, even though it's not that new. Um, celebrity gossip. What else? Uh, ask her about her day. Rajan, get the hell out of here. Get out. God, he's so creepy. <laughs> he's like in there booing us. Aw, she's like our little childhood friend. They definitely need to like catch up and get close again. Seriously, be funny. Show her a funny video. And a cat video. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and start the party, right? She's like vomiting at the sight of this lady. Nice. Let's go ahead and um, have her blow out candles for, I guess, Bay can be first. Yay, Bay. Okay. Colin's going to miss his own children's birthday, but whatever. <laughs> this is Sims 3 where that typically does happen. Just do it. Uh, they, yes. All right, everybody better come watch now. <laughs> she looks so, so pissed. <laughs> this, it, our maid with a gnome hat. Like, I wish I understood. I really w wish I did. All right, come on, Bay. Because Finn has to age up too. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Stop! Oh my god, I don't care about the stupid broken dishwasher. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> she still needs a lot of caring for. Okay. So we didn't get to choose her trick. Oh. Bay. <laughs> we'll give makeovers. We will give makeovers. Don't worry. Let's go ahead and have Finn next. Come on, Finn. You're next, boy. Wake up, Finn. Twins is just too hectic, especially with Island Paradise, like in this town, with the lag. <laughs> My lag could be a lot worse, <laughs> but sometimes it just drives you nuts and you're like, just age up already, people. Polyus. I will miss this town, though. Like, I love Isla Parody, so it is a gorgeous, gorgeous town. And, of course, I do have everything kind of on a high high settings and stuff, so it's going to be laggy here and there. Um, I won't miss the lag. I will miss the beauty of the town, though. Definitely pretty. I love when all the boats go by, and it's just so cute. All right, Finn. Let's go, buddy boy. All right, she's leaving before he even ages up. Cool. Christabel left us. Bay, I know. Okay, let your brother age up. Oh, my God. See why they need to move out? Because I can't handle that. <laughs> can't handle it, guys. There we go. Oh my god, he has purple in his hair like his grandma. <laughs> oh my god, that is funny. Okay, I'm going to look at all of this craziness. Everybody's like freaking out, baby's crying. It's just crazy, crazy time. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and give the toddlers makeovers. Um,. And then we will age up on Aqua. Okay? Okay. Okay, guys. So this is Finn's makeover. I just gave him kind of like this wavy little hairstyle. I thought it was super cute. He has brown eyes and like this light brown reddish hair that like Audrina had. Um, and then I gave him these adorable little overalls. I think they came from the Sims 3 store. Uh, it has like a little lion on it. And it just, oh my gosh, it looks so cute. And he has like some little sandals on. And then for his formal wear, I gave him this little outfit. <laughs> He'll never wear formal wear, I mean, really. But it looks like a little resort outfit, I think. Oh my gosh. It just looks adorable. For sleepwear, I just gave him a blue, like, 
zipper, as my son would call it. He calls his footy pajamas his zippers. Um, and so he has his little zipper on and uh, some socks. And this is his outerwear, just like a snowsuit that he'll never, ever need. All right, guys, this is Bay's makeover. I just gave her um, kind of like a half pull back hairstyle. Um, she, again, has like the same exact color as her grandma, which I thought was kind of cute. They didn't really get their parents' hairstyles. They got their grandma, like Audrina. Oh, it's just so cute. Um, so she has like this little blousey top and she has like this little skirt with kind of like leggings underneath it, I guess, and these little like Mary Jane shoes. Her form wear is just like this dress that I normally probably wouldn't ever put <laughs> my sims in, but she's never going to wear formal wear, so I wasn't too worried about it. Her sleepwear is custom content that I just recently downloaded, actually. Um, and it has like little capri pants and like this little bear with these little hearts. I just thought it was super cute. And then her outerwear is just, um, once again, like this snowsuit that she's never ever going to need okay so that was their makeovers now it is time for aqua once everybody leaves of course you know everyone leaves and then aqua can age up <laughs> go ahead and have her age up um aqua's having a birthday party come one come all jk everybody just leave no 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 blow out your candles aqua so much cake so much cake. Is anybody, okay, is anybody going to watch? Oh my god, look at them. Proud, happy parents, like, so excited for their daughter, their youngest, their baby, Aqua, to be aging up into a young adult and graduating from high school. <laughs> And then you have Coral, who could literally not give two shizzes less about her sister. Yeah. She's still pissed off about that TV. <laughs> there she goes. Put on a happy face. Everybody, I love how everybody leaves as soon as it's Aqua's turn. Like, oh my god. Uh, as soon as Aqua ages up, that's when no one cares. So cute though. Aww. Can't believe our little Aqua is becoming a woman. <laughs> oh my god, it's happening. Oh. <laughs> oh my god okay um due to her difficulties in school you will not be allowed to choose a trait <laughs> she developed commitment issues oh my god we screwed this girl over like we ruined her she has commitment issues she's also evil rebellious a klepto oh my god this girl this <laughs> girl look how freaking gorgeous she is she kind of looks like she wants to like kill me right now but look how freaking pretty she's so pretty okay i'm gonna go ahead and give her a makeover and i'll get back to you guys when i'm done okay guys so this is aqua's makeover i gave her kind of like this dark smoky eye with like a nude um lip and I gave her this hairstyle that if you watch my Generations and Seasons LP, Talia has the same hair. It's like my favorite hair right now. I just, I love it. And it makes her hair look like really bright cotton candy pink. And I just really, really love it. Uh, I just put her in this outfit from Island, from Island Paradise, uh, the expansion pack. And I just really like it. And I think it's laid back and chill, just like her um, with a little bit of edge. So I thought it fit her well. For her formal wear, I just gave her this dress from Diesel stuff, I believe, and some high heels that I think are from Late Night. For her sleepwear, I just gave her this off-the-shoulder top and some sweatpants, nothing too fancy. It's just sleepwear, you know? And for her athletic um, outfit, I just gave her some Converse and this outfit that came with Island Paradise. I thought it looked 
chill and casual and comfy, something you could probably work out in. And for her swimwear and outerwear, I really didn't do anything because she'll never need to wear her swimwear because she's a mermaid and she'll just turn into her mermaid form and it's always, you know, really nice sunny weather so she won't need to worry about her outerwear. So I didn't really do anything with those, but yeah, that is Aqua's makeover guys and I hope you like it. So everybody's been aged up and made over, so um, she's extremely happy about it, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> the dirty looks in this family, I swear. Who is this old man? Harley, who are you? I do not know who you are. I don't like you looking at Audrina like that. Uh-uh, creeper. Anyway. <laughs> so Aqua is aged up and she actually wants to be the Emperor of Evil so she wants to join the criminal career so I'm gonna go ahead and have her do that she's gonna go ahead and um let me see I forget it's different in every game so I'm just gonna have her look for the place uh, where is it she's gonna go ahead and join the criminal career as soon as she's done eating her cake um and ugh, the toddlers oh the toddlers oh they're so stressful like should we move them now <laughs> i feel like we should okay guys so that <laughs> oh my gosh i just spent like the entire night like in the in game the entire night was spent like moving them to back to this house and everything it just took way longer than i should have so <laughs> so now um, uh, bleh, not Audrina. She looks so much like her. Coral is back, you know, at their old house with her fam. And, you know, it was nice of her family to, like, I don't know, spend time, like, I don't know, helping them with their kids and stuff. Like, I think it was really sweet. And it was definitely realistic, I think, for a lot of people. I forgot how much I, I liked this house, how I decorated it and stuff. <laughs> I missed it. It's so cute. Um... So now they're back at their old house. I just literally threw this room together at the last minute uh, for the twins. Um, but yeah, there's another room upstairs so they can have their privacy. Maybe I'll give that to Bay so she can have her own little balcony. Like, I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so they're back at their old house. It's so crazy to me. Like, uh, I don't know. It's just like a big deal because... It's just they're moving on, you know, moving on with their lives. They're moving on, moving up in their lives, and it's just really exciting. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, back over to the main house. Um, Aqua did get her job, um, and she's supposed to go to work today, but she's also graduating, I think. I got a notification that said that, but I accidentally clicked out of it, um, that she's going to be graduating. So I definitely don't want her to miss graduation. I feel like her parents have missed enough of her life. Um, <laughs> like it's because of them that she's rebellious, has commitment issues, is evil, and is a klepto. I mean, that that's a lot of issues. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know if Aqua will ever have a relationship or not. I, I really don't know. And you guys have been asking me a lot about this and I really haven't planned on it, but would you guys want me to do like a season two of Island Paradise. I'm not like, this would be in the future, like maybe next year or even longer. Cause I want to do other LPs first. Um, but it's definitely like, I want to have closure with this LP, but it's definitely still open-ended for like Aqua's life. I mean, she's just become like a young adult and she's like, I don't know. Like she has a lot of life to live. So she might maybe have a season two don't that's not written in stone or anything guys don't get too excited but i don't know it's just something that i kind of thought about that you guys were bringing up so so yeah how many lifetime reward points does she have um how much is the kraken thing <laughs> um let me see friend of the kraken thirty thousand. she wants to buy a motorcycle how much is that? 400. 
Um, I don't know. I mean, I really wanted her to be friend the friend. <laughs> I can't. I, this entire part, I have literally not been able to speak. I've literally forgotten how to talk. Okay. Anyway, um, befriend, <laughs> befriend the Kraken. Oh my God. Befriend the Kraken. Um, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen, guys. I mean, her life pretty much sucked. So she has like no lifetime rewards. Um, I mean, Coral could talk totally like afford it but I, I i feel like aqua would be the one to use it you know what i'm saying like i don't know i feel like she would totally be the one to use it but i don't know like should we have coral get it and like <laughs> i don't know like or maybe maybe <laughs> audrina will do it to like get her revenge for you know Aqua sicking sharks on her father because that's kind of a big deal, guys. Like that 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 was pretty messed up on Aqua's part. Um so yeah, I don't know. Let me know because um oh she's required to attend. Oh my gosh, she's gonna go graduate. Alright, so we'll have her graduate and then we'll end the part. Girl, please don't miss your graduation. Seriously, though, she's. <laughs> Bay cannot be left alone. Babysitter. Call babysitter. Oh, I guess Coral. Is Coral actually going to come? Oh my God. They're probably. None of them will make it because it's an island and <laughs> she's not even going. She's just like sitting here. And there she goes. Oh, Aqua. I can't believe she's actually. Look at that evil expression. Seriously. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I can't believe she's actually graduating, guys. Who would have thought the D student would actually, you know, at the very last minute, pull her grades together and go. Why is Finn here? Finn was at the other house. Oh my god. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my gosh. Look, 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 look. Oh, he just took off without you. Bye. Please do not, do not, no, no, <laughs> girl, do not, please listen to me, please, <laughs> oh my god, all right, and then, yeah, go up there, okay, and then you can graduate City Hall, oh my god, there she goes. Oh my gosh, that was stressful, guys. She's like literally missing her graduation just because it takes so damn long for everyone. Why, why are we stopped? Is there a reason? Like, is there a reason that we're stopped in the middle of, oh my God. Finally going, finally. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was stressful. That was so stressful. <laughs> cool, do da habari, uno kipo, uno kipo, beer them off, beer them off, something. <laughs> oh my god, there they go, proud parents. Christopher Cravenson. That sounded like Christopher Cravenson. That sounded like a real name. Come on, Aqua, you can do it. You can graduate, girl. <laughs> oh my god she would she would show up at her sister's graduation in her damn wedding dress yes she would she did that she did that okay you have fun with that. <laughs> Always has to stay upstage her sister. Oh my god, guys. <sighs> Jeez. Wow. But yeah, let me know if um if you guys want like Audrina or Coral to like get Aqua back and attack her with the Kraken or I don't know because Aqua's not going to have enough um points. Which really sucks. But, I mean, it is what it is. But I really want someone to get attacked by the Kraken and actually witness it. So, 
in the final part we will be doing that and oh my god she was voted most likely to take over the world yes yes <laughs> you go girl you go i am so proud of my little aqua my little delinquent <laughs> And, oh my god, a quarrel. Yeah, I'm proud of you too, girl. Um, oh, and look, he's gonna come argue with her for no reason. He was literally just gonna argue with her. This family, though, like, I... All right, I'm going to end this part here. It was probably way too long, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And in the next and final part, we will be, you know, probably hanging out at the resort, getting attacked by a kraken, and you know, just traveling around with the houseboat. So it's going to be a, <laughs> it's going to be a fun part guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this LP so far and are looking forward to the final part. Even if it makes you sad, I feel like, you know, it's time to move on. Um, so yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next and final part. Bye guys.